This video is going to show you everything you need to know about GradeGuardian and how you can use it to support your students. So GradeGuardian is a add-on to Canvas that gives you access to all of your students' grades and performances across all of their classes. And so what you see here is a screenshot of what GradeGuardian is and does. You'll notice that we have a column there that says students and then the names are grayed out so that you don't see them. The risk index is a number that indicates how students are doing in your class. So if you notice that a student is getting into the yellow or red, it means that they likely are missing a number of assignments or something like that. So we'll look into what that risk index is. It also shows you the last access your students had to your course and the last time they submitted something to your course. So the risk index takes into account a number of different factors. So it looks at the dates of your course. It looks at the last time students logged into your course, the grade in the course, the assignments that they've turned in, what's missing, what's late. It looks at the last time they accessed your course, sent a message in your course, sent a message to you, added to a discussion, or submitted an assignment. These factors do change over time based on how long the course is. So as the course starts, it's going to look at participation and submission of assignments. And later in the course, it's going to look at the grade that the students have in the course and weight those more heavily. So now I'm acting as a teacher at the high school. And there's a couple of ways that I can access Grade Guardian. The first one is within one specific course. So I'm going to open up this course right here. And you'll notice that there is a button over here on the side that says Grade Guardian. When you click on Grade Guardian within your course, what you're going to see is the risk index of the students in your course. This does not take into account their performance in other classes. You can sort by different sections of the course and just look at one section at a time if you would like. And you can also choose to look at only specific risk factors such as high, mediums, or lows. I can also search for a student's name over here if I would like. When I click on a student's name, I'm given access to all the courses that they have here. I can also see the grade they have in each class, the zeros, missing assignments, the last access, and latest submission. And as I mentioned before, you can click on this grade and it will actually take you to the gradebook for that class. You can see exactly which assignments are missing here. You can see the score they got all of this information, and this is 100% up to date to the minute. You can also click here to show the missing assignments they have in a class if you're trying to support them and tell them which assignments they should focus on. And if you want to print this report out for a student and hand it to them, you can by clicking this little arrow down here. And I like to check the box where it says with assignments and then click on print. It generates a report that you can use and it lists the course, the grade, all the missing assignments, in one nice little neat report. Next, you'll notice that we have some contact information listed up here in the corner. So it has their email address. You can also send them a message within Canvas. Some students have added their phone numbers so that you can actually send them a message via email by clicking on this here. And then it will send them a text message with whatever message you have sent. And then let's go through these tabs that we have here. The notes tab is a place where teachers and staff can put notes about students and include information such as when they contacted parents at home, what kinds of issues you're having with that student in class. And then this is a nice running record so that teachers of that student in the future will be able to see what kinds of supports that student has had, what's worked, what's not working, and get a lowdown of how that student is performing academically. In addition to that, you can also select a tag a tag is a way of basically creating this little colored box here, and it allows these notes to really stand out. So if you have tags selected for your academy, for example, and you have academic engagement concerns, those kinds of things, that can make it easier for you for other people to understand what needs to be done to support the student. In addition, you can also activate an alert. When you activate an alert, Anyone who is considered an ally of that student will receive a notification that there has been an alert set for that student. And then they need to go in and actually acknowledge that they've read it. They can read the notes and see what's going on with the student and follow up with anything they need. 
You can also filter by tag. So if there's tags for the student that you want to see under one specific category, you can do that. And that's it for the notes section here. The next one over is history. And this just gives you a view of how students are performing over the course of an entire semester or term. You can see how they're doing in their grades, across their classes, that kind of thing. And then the last tab here is the contacts tab. So you can see any allies. And an ally is someone who has this student listed somewhere on a dashboard. And we're going to show you dashboards in just a moment. For example, we have dashboards for our academies, for our advisors, for clubs, for our cultural liaisons who have access to those students' grades. So we can contact those people via email. We can email all of the allies. We can also see the instructors for all of the students. So we can easily just click on that and it'll email all of the instructors in the class. And we can also see if there's an observer, aka parent, for that student and then their contact information is listed here and we can also email them as well. So this is the access that a individual teacher has within their course. Now if you have a student in an advisory, a club, or an academy, the way that you're going to find that student's information and see their academic performance across all of their courses is by clicking on admin. You should have access to the school that you are currently assigned to you should see a button here that says Grade Guardian. And then what you're going to see is a list of potential dashboards. So this teacher is also the girls hockey coach and she's also in the Human Services Academy. So she could pull up her hockey players or she could pull up the Human Services Academy, either one, and see the same information that you would see in a class. The key difference here though is that this risk index is factoring in all of their courses, not just the individual course that you're accessing in it like before. If you have administrative access, you can also search for a student up here for other students that may not be on a dashboard. And you can also click on reports to run other advanced reports as well. So that's everything you need to know about using GradeGuardian to support your students' needs.